Was that cart always full? No, it just happened. No, it just happened. Oh my god. That's a lot of cup noodles. I was going to say, boy, you're going to be dehydrated. Boy, you're going to be in the toilet. Boy, your sodium level's going to be up. Yep, that too. You don't want you that. Want your spoon again, you don't Jesus want that. Oh, all Chris's fault. I had that. It sucked. Had what? High sodium levels. Oh. That's when I that's when I had to get off all the salty food for a while. But hey, but thankfully my last last blood test, uh, everything had level out, so I'm good there. It should that's be good. that way. Yeah. Well, it's like I'm. I, to my knowledge, I was. I'm. I haven't had a blood test since, and I'm still pre-diabetic. But at least my levels are normaled out. You're like, I, I, have have like... Uh, I love how you just always say like, I have it. I'm good now, but I'm still pre-diabetic. What? The hopes are still there. Yeah. Well, at least my at least my sodium isn't through the fucking roof. He's off. Because I'm doing something I don't think right. My sodium through the roof. I, I say that as I as I had a as I had pizza for dinner. My sodium levels <laughs> are good eating. As, as I'm eating pizza. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, it's, it's it's the it's like the only like it's like the one time a week. We need, we need to get you that cauliflower crust shit. Well, if it if it tastes good, then I'll be fine. I've tried it. Take my cardboard. Then no, I'll stick to frying my own stuff. So you know how cauliflower is, you know, on its own where it's bland. Yeah. Yeah, I I know people have made cauliflower rice. <sighs> I'd rather starve. I don't think that's a thing. <laughs> yeah. Dang. Oh, I did make those blueberry muffins. Uh. Oh, nice. How is it? Tuesday. How did it look? They a uh, I... the batter was a bit. Stupier than it was supposed to be, but they I'm, still set up nice. You're retarded. So yeah, so it they it's like the blue are made from scratch. They turned out pretty pretty much perfect. That's good. Nice. Yep, and they're tasty too. Sneak, sneak. On. Sorry, I'm eating. I'm eating a vanilla bar. I would normally talk, but what I'm eating. Fuck? God damn it, Parker! You almost made me talk. God yeah. damn it! <laughs> <laughs> fuck you, husky. Nee. At least not you, hoo hoo. I gotta get ready for that next Monday. Monday, Monday, Monday. Put me out of my misery. <laughs> Something up? <laughs> Nothing. Ah, this looks tasty too. Oh, nice. Why not grab it? We pick things out. <clears throat> Discount store really are the place to go to buy cup noodles. You can buy more than that, you know. There's other options. Yeah. yeah, like. Be sure to only grab the 100 yen ones. AKA one, no, AKA probably a like $10. Oh, uh, 100 yen is about 75 cents here, so. Yeah. I can get a, I can get a bag Ooh. of regular ramen for about 30 cents at Walmart. Yeah. Come on. You clicked. Hey, the price, hey, these, hey, there were price hikes on cup ramen that would make commoners suffer a riot alongside ice cream these days. It was common for convenience stores to sell food, especially limited edition stuff, for around 200 yen each. They certainly weren't my first choice, but... Hey, Parker, did you show your brother that video? Not yet, because he's out. He's out there playing games. I'll show it to him when he comes in. I think he'll like it. I think you liked it. Oh, it was fucking hilarious. Once the unsold stock reached less than three months and it expired, they eventually, oh fuck, put on the discount rack for around hundred yen. A targets a. Targeting this was a piece of commoner knowledge. Or, you know, just buy in bulk like normal people. Yeah. Yeah. When I get ramen, 
I just get a 12 pack because it's easier because I get it for like $3. Yep. Yeah. I went grocery shopping with my dad mm -hmm. yesterday. Uh, in, in okay. good in good I... lord you would think with like 90 dollars you'd think we had a fu he had a fucking heart attack yeah you know so he bought essential stuff and other stuff he's like 90 dollars jesus he's like where yeah. did the costs come from i'm like well you well you wanted this this and that extra additional to the list he's like oh yeah i'm also ready to make the most american sounding dish ever what? and it's from and it's from uh it's because I got Go I, I got like a fun cookbook just like for shits and giggles. It's a D and D inspired cookbook. Or <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> and they, there's one recipe that they call barbarian le a clubs. It's literally like a turkey leg wrapped in bacon. It's like glazed with maple syrup or something. It just sounds like you, you something you get in one of those little Viking shows in Washington D.C. Yeah, but I'm tempted to replace the the turkey with bacon or with chicken because I'm not a big fan of turkey. I don't like the way it tastes. Well, it could affect the whole recipe because turkey usually takes longer than chicken does. Yeah, it does. Yeah, it I'll just have to stick with turkey then. Because um, yeah, because yeah, turkey yeah. legs is also mainly dark meat, which affects cooking time. Yeah, yeah it's true. Could you could right, take I'll just stick, I'll just stick with I'll just stick with turkey then. You can do it's chicken. Right, you can yeah. do chicken wrap, chicken breast, or chicken thigh, but you just gotta find a recipe for it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, you, well, how I'll dare try. you ruin things for me? Oh, <laughs> uh, it happens. <laughs> well, better that than you know me cooking the chicken and burning the bacon. I guess that's probably what's gonna happen. Is it could exactly. burn. <laughs> so. I'm not. I'm not damning you for it. It's like, ah, well, at least I didn't waste bacon. Don't you have a black card, though? Can't you just buy the more expensive stuff? The MC's point. like, yeah. The MC's like, nah. I'm El Cheapo, like Husky and Chris. Here's the thing. I'm not cheap, cheap. I'm what they call yeah. economically efficient because I do buy things when I need to. I just wisely oh, spend true. my money. Oh, I yeah. know. Oh, I know. I That's the same as me. I just can't wait till my parents come back to go to the store so I can get another pack of grapes. I could have sent you some, Paco. <laughs> well, I, well, I demolished the last bag, bag of grapes they got, and I'm like, more. Of course. <laughs> I love grapes, okay? Can't blame you. They're so good. Uh, What type of grape? Uh, they were just a... It's like I've had a variety of grapes. Uh, these were just like the the standard green grapes. I prefer like the purple looking ones. Yeah, it's like I've had those too. Those are really good. I've also had ones that were like almost like cotton candy like, and those were really good. They were like cotton candy grapes or something. But it's like I, it's like I I just like grapes overall. I really love grapes. I don't like wasting money like that. Apparently, eating too many grapes can cause diarrhea. Well, I mean, I only have like a bowl like every day, or every other day. No, uh, it says here like it says if you eat more than like one pound worth of grapes at a time, it could cause diarrhea, dry mouth, a cough, and a headache. Yeah, well, it's like I don't demolish a, I don't like destroy the bag in one day. Oh, I've seen. You know, I see people yeah. do all the time. I see people eat grapes out of the bag in the store to save money when they put it on the scale. And someone's playing their PS5. I heard it. No, I moved around. Oh. Nope. <laughs> Not me. Yippee! Miracles do happen. <laughs> yeah, I don't like wasting money like that. I wouldn't want to squander it even if it wasn't my money. Yep, yep, that's nice. That's what it means to be a Commodore. Here's my thing. I get a black card. Spend, 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 spend. Not my yeah. Money. It's like it's not my money. If I was given free reign, yeah, I get all. I get. I get at least a, a the decent stuff. 
I would I, I would I would I would I say uh I would ask is there a cast withdrawal? Well yeah yeah. yeah. <laughs> I would as well. I wouldn't hold back. More importantly, I probably wouldn't be able to fully enjoy eating any cup noodles that cost over two hundred yen. Oh Parker, I know oh, what yeah. happened. Yeah, you're very how much I don't know what Azoth would do, but go on. I was gonna say his mother when he gets a package. What's this thing called Bad Dragon? Why is there, why is there like a two foot box <laughs> at the door? No, Azoth. 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 No, Azoth. Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. He'd buy out their entire stock. <laughs> nah, that'd be a waste too. Why? It's not your money. <laughs> it wouldn't go to you, so waste <laughs> Oh, like when you think of the price and can't leave soup unfinished. So you chug it down and regret how heavy it feels in your stomach. Yeah, that. Rina and I alone. A Rina and I were alone, so we got riled up by by the seemingly commoner talk. Didn't the old prime minister's high cup noodles were 400 yen? Oh. Yeah, media totally snapped back at them and said they should study what commoners like lives were really like. Everyone online agreed politicians, politicians, or whatever. politicians, politicians. Oh, I was gonna say you were right the first time, Chris. Now you turn back and correct yourself. Well, two out of well, too out of touch to even know how much cup noodles cost. Like, like Mello, like Husky Mello, and I saw what what the Giants player said that, about the food walkers. That statement is so painfully true. Politician right now. Sometimes. Back in my day, Kraft mac and cheese used to cost fifteen cents. I don't know why these fucking poor ass motherfuckers are complaining. <laughs> like, Take okay. a look at the price, Grandpa. Like, all right, Grandpa, Kraft Mac and Cheese knows cost a dollar oh nine at Walmart for the same amount. Thanks, fun fact: Dave, Fun Dave. fact: Kraft was made as a Depression era meal. Uh, yeah, no, it it, it 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 makes so much sense, honestly. That's what fed four people back in the Great Depression. It was I for think twenty-four was, I cents. Think I remember, I remember hearing one one fucking recipe that was. I think it was like depression uh, created during depression. It was like water pie. You could you could have her, you could have Hoover soup. Yeah. Water, tomato paste, uh, ketchup, carrots, and Lizzie's. I mean hot dogs. Yeah. It was mainly water. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hey, looking back at it now, both options were pretty old. Uh, well, I was gonna say it's oh. all like well crisp, but creamy chip beef fondue. Ooh, that was a thing. I, rem I, I remember hearing when sh sh I remember hearing back in like in like World War One, one of the famous meals was shit on a shingle. That's still a thing in the South. I know. I believe it. Shit on a shingle is great. Is gravy with um. With with chipped beef. Yeah, chipped beef. I was gonna say beef chunks, but yeah, it's chipped beef. Yeah, it yeah, it was it was gravy it mixed in with chipped beef, and it was put on a slice of toast. That was shit on a shingle. The wolf pit made that. Though. Yeah, I know. I've also it's like I've seen some other people. I've seen uh tasting the history make it, and it's sustainable. That's all it gets. It, it does not taste good. It's sustainable. Well, I, I watched a video of a Depression era meal. Of a, it was called the butter sandwich. Oh, I, hold yeah. Up. <laughs> That's exactly what you think it is. It's a uh, because back then butter was very cheap, so you got a big old big glob of butter, and just smack it on like peanut butter. <laughs> <laughs> it reminded me of the fucking <laughs> the one. So I was like. You know his ass haven't had a sugar sandwich before. He's like, tell me a sugar sandwich is what I think it is. He's like, yeah. He's like, hey, not even, he's like, not even butter. No, butter was if you were rich. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
know that video was so fucking funny. <laughs> it's scary if you think about it. There are politicians, a uh, political social, a uh, socialists, who think cup noodles, the ally of the poor, are around 400 yen. I actually experienced something like this currently, because I, I I grew up poor myself growing up, and we had this thing. We had there was this drink called the uh, Canadian Sparkling. It was a brand of sparkling water. And that's the only type of sparkling water I will drink, mind you. Growing up, that was like 50 cents a, a glass bottle because it was meant as a poor person sparkling water drink when, you know, sparkling water first came out. Yeah. Well, sparkling water's been a thing, but you know, like in the like early 2000s, it was like really starting to pop off. And all, yeah. and all these brands are trying to capitalize and the price kept going up, but Canadian sparkling, you know was the poor man's drink, as everyone called it. So it was like 50 cents a bottle. Now it's like $3 a fucking bottle because all the rich, snobby people said, ooh, this is good. So the company raised the price. Bruh. How? Whoa. Because they finally brought it back over here to the States because it stopped production in the States. Because, of course, the Canadian company wanted it for Canada. It's like, whatever. So it came back. It's like 3 bucks a bottle. like, Jesus, really? Mark, do you want some? No. Why? Mm. Sparkling well, it water, you like really. it? it? It depends, because I tried polar sparkling water. That shit was disgusting. Well, I I've had Canadian sparkling. It's actually pretty good to me. All right. Then I'll uh, try it. They have blueberry, cherry, strawberry, and blueberry. I like <laughs> strawberry and I like strawberry. That's my favorite flavor. I first like the blueberry and cherry, but I'll take blueberry any day. Yep. The ball that this is yeah, because literally the design has not changed since I was like yeah. since I was like sick. Has it changed? I still yeah. don't. Get, I still don't get why the Canadian distributor got rid of it in the states for like ten years. Wow. Thanks, Azar. Wow. Don't blame me. Blame. The assholes who run the shit. I don't know why. I I, I, I just got confused. Girl. I was like, why did they get rid of it? I don't get it either. Now it's selling like hotcakes again. <clears throat> okay. Those thing Social... Uh, social... Social teas think low-income low uh, families can afford 400 yen meals. They're socialites. Socialized. Okay. It's another. It's another term for politicians. Another term. Just said politicians. You. You crazy. Beautiful people. <laughs> Let's see. Let me finish that granola bar. Yeah, it's called clearly Canadian. That's the brand. The best place to start reforming politicians' tax hikes and financial squaring might be to make them go buy cup noodles on their own. Oh, they added a new flavor, peach. Mm, maybe. They added peach? Yeah, they have raspberry, peach, wow. wild cherry, blackberry, and blueberry, and strawberry. Oh, wow. That's better than what they had growing up. When I was growing up, all we had was blueberry or cherry. That's all they had. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hey, what in the world are we talking about? What in the tar nation? What in tar nation? What in the retardation? <laughs> These cup noodles might have hijacked our minds a Ooh. little. What in crab nation? <laughs> Forty nine dollars for a twelve pack. Fuck that. Yeah. Let's go somewhere else. They they sell cosmetics and stuff here too. You got it. Mister Casual. Hey, I huck, I hucked the noodles into the car as we headed back to the earring section from before. Ow. 
a Don Digito's sold clothes and other wares. So we were, we went to take a look. <laughs> now this I can understand her. Husky, I can tell you what's up. I actually allow this because you want to know why? At least she doesn't say it like almost every time. No, you, see, you're saying that because you sent for her. No, I'm not saying it because I sent for her. If, if Mela was here right now, because Mela is actually in the bathroom, apparently, by himself. He's but dying. still. Now, don't joke to it, Dad. Come on. <laughs> He's pulling an Elvis. Oh, God. Like the fa you mean the Family Guy meme? No. Elvis like, physically like died in the toilet. Yeah. No, I know. Oh, I knew that. I was just thinking of another uh, toilet. Another uh. Too many toilets. Bruh. Not bruh. No, bruh. <laughs> hey, yo, uh, aren't these cute? Way. Aren't these cute? That. Yeah. yeah. I was, it's like, I know these stupid turns. And I got a nephew in middle school who says this shit. And, yeah, and, I gotta be, and I'm victim to them on my fucking timeline. And in my memes, I'm like, Jesus Christ. Well, well and because uh, I follow some like teachers, like teachers on Instagram, and <sighs> they talk about like the you know, middle school stuff now. And like during Christmas, they were, they remixed like Christmas songs with like Riz and that sort of stuff. Like, kids these days, I swear. <sighs> like, they're more cringe than our generation was, and that's sad. Yeah. The people say, oh, you guys were cringe growing up. I'm like, no, I think the new generation was worse. Yeah, the new generation is fucking worse. They have... It's like, what was the most cringy thing from our generation? Uh, Justin Bieber. Justin Bieber, what? um, the silly band craze that girls went for. Um... Friday, Friday. Uh, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, I'm legitimately trying to think of my generation because our inner generation wasn't really that. Yeah. But these kids, the, I I think it's because this new generation of kids is is the first like full on generation that have like full access to internet. Yeah, no, that makes sense. That's why they have some guy's head popping out of a toilet as humor. They find that. They find that humorous. Like yeah. I'm telling, like I'm like, uh, like in, believe it or not, in business we call things a lot. Like, some other people are coining this term too, brain rot. Yeah. Like in my business classes, we have like, we have, they had to revise a few things for us because things have changed so quick because these new kids, like. Yeah. Like, like when we do commercials, right? Because because uh, I you know I learned marketing yeah. and advertising. You know how quickly yeah. we have to make a commercial to catch these kids' attention now based on current attention spans? Yeah. Five seconds. We have wow. to make we have to catch your attention in five seconds or else they're just gonna scroll by. Because that's how low the yeah. attention span is with the new generation. It's five seconds. Wow. Used to be about fifteen seconds, but it's pretty much it went down so fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. He is also like, what? He, he's a fucking boomer with the attention span of his, if, 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 attention span of, what is it now? Gen X? Gen Z? Yeah, uh, technically is Gen X, the end of it. Yeah. It's like, he has their attention oh. span. That's I not don't know. good. Depends. Girl on the yeah, screen. Depends on if there's tits on the screen or not. <laughs> Cute, cute. It took him a second. <laughs> <laughs> but, aren't the, but aren't these even cuter? Uh, yeah. My attention span can be cute, anywhere from this. Cute, cute. Okay. Oh, okay. I was, what are you, you saying, know, Azar? Go ahead, Azar. My attention span could be anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. It depends. Depends on, depends on the oh. boobs on the screen. 
Bro, you forget yes. what you, you you once forgot what you said for like five seconds ago. Unfortunately, that's inevitable, but um, that's different from my attention span. That you're thirty seven. That's scary, Parker. It's gonna get worse when he gets older. Yeah. Ah, oh, what the heck? They are, these are even cuter. Oh, here we go. Husky's like, oh, here we go. I better stop finding stuff that matches. Husky's like, no, Chris. No. Long. You scared me. We already bought. I bought the earrings. Let's get, let's head back. What, what are you talking about? We're just getting started! Now that I've picked out earrings, I'm arranging matching outfits! That'll be, that's on your own build then, honey. Oh, you spared me the cost of the earrings, so it'll be a big help if you wanted as, as, want, yeah, wanted as Fortnite. much for, as much for the clothes too. No, no. Don't, don't don't worry. My nephew comes over again Saturday. Husky, Mel is going to probably play Fortnite with them again. You better crank them nineties. <laughs> better bonk Mel for playing Fortnite. Yeah, but Mel is not here, so you, so Parker can't bonk him yet until he gets hey, back. Mel's dog water. Oh, he's back. Oh, Mel, are you okay? Cause that, cause the husky was about to find a search party for you, and no, because you, uh, husky thought you you did an Elvis. They don't make me call a welfare check. Mella, you wanna know why? The joke is that Elvis died in the toilet. That That's what Husky caught talking about you in there. Oh yeah, Parker, since Mella's back, go bonk him for playing Fortnite. Go bonk him. I ain't Fortnite. No, before, yeah. on Saturday, last Saturday. That's my nephew, you no. idiots. You know, I would have I would have been like, no, hmm? I could, like, I probably, I mean, it's not my money, but I know somebody, geez, he said, he was told somebody's keeping track of his spending, so he still could get shit in the anyway, so. Uh, maybe I'll start by changing my that's, hair that's, color. That's gross. Oh, fuck. Oh, maybe I'll start by changing my hair color? No, Chris. I could bleach it to emphasize it more. Hmm. Okay, Wait, I, I have I a... wasn't thinking of it. I have, a, I have a short story now that I think about it. Hmm? My hand. Oh, no. Oh no. Basically, back then, I actually did try uh, dyeing my hair once. Oh. Huh? oh. Oh, yeah, I remember you did talk about that. But then, the, but then, it's like my hair became completely resistant to dye. So whenever I tried to dye it again, it would just wash right out. You're special. <clears throat> Everyone's special. Technically not. Yes. No, not everyone's on the spectrum. Thank you very much. <laughs> I'm well, trying not to say it. Well, we all are, so. The target is a family. Yeah. Da, 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 da. I only barely count. Yeah, you joined us when the fucking psychologist just threw you in. Yeah. Yeah, at first I wasn't a part of you all, but then the psychologist is just like, yeah, nope, we're counting ADHD as part of the spectrum. Because it's Here easier. Here you go. <laughs> it's just easier to throw someone on the spectrum because they're like, because it's been scientifically just proven now that usually people who have one also have another. Yeah. That's why they put everything on a spectrum because you can have multiple. I'm like, so you're so you're saying I can have more spice to my life, and I get told by the therapist, no. <laughs> therapist, okay, so you you're, you have autism and other things. And I'm like, oh, so you say I'm spicy? They're like, no. I'm like, oh, you can't have fun. Sorry, I gotta set the alarm up, so Mello has to wake up early. Simple alert. Simple alert. <laughs> You eyeing me up like a girl that's been... Oh, son of a fucking bitch. I don't know why you said that. Son of a fucking bitch. That's not me. 
violated in one of those porn games of yours. Husky's like, Wayne has read the future of what quit was. Oh god, I got stun grenade. What do you get? Park got through a stun grenade. I love how yes. it starts out quiet and then it just destroys. Yes, exactly. That soulless fade, faded outlook a, it is called Empty Eyes. It was a popular trope back in the day. But it's pretty lame now and mo and mostly used for brainwashing scenes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, whenever you say brainwashing scenes, it reminds me of that stupid scene where it's like, why does hit a guy scream, stop it, stop it, please, I beg you? Yeah. <laughs> I feel ridiculously violated now, though. Us whenever Chris sim. Correct! Oh, why? Oh! Most drop the thing. Yeah, it's a three. Did you read that one? Yes. Oh, I, did. oh, I didn't hear you. I heard him. Because you're picking out underwear. I guess you haven't been invited to the panty room. Oh, what be what be do, my dude? Oh, yes, huh? We're not gonna have to invite you to the. Panty raid. Ajoth will be happy to join that. Panty raid. I wouldn't, honestly, I wouldn't care. But, but I mean, like, if, I mean, like, come on, dude, what a wimp! Huh? Just because he's near underwear getting picked, him. They picked her peg. Oh. Picked. Uh, I actually, I I watched the. Uh new like deadpool trailer that came out Same they, th they made a pegging reference i'm like oh my god <sighs> i i, I know husky i said oh very my god. much in in line with deadpool to be honest Hus parker you're not wrong <laughs> i remember this i remember seeing a scene where he was on the couch with fucking baby legs well the thing was he was referencing this oh yeah they tend to pet the uh like who disney made a self burn they own that studio yeah she a uh, she walked back and forth in the clothing racks and holds up a variety of undergarments to her body and asks how does this look for a while now husky's like and chris you can't answer that no you can't okay mellow you can answer it for me come on no about her trying to undergarments around herself say how does it look Husky said I can't answer it, so you gotta do it for me. I can't answer it for you either. This is your best ally. Husky, Husky said I can't answer it. I don't care. I don't can't answer it for you. Well, it's like, I don't care. Chris can still answer it. It's his goal. Well, it's like. It's your goal. It's your goal, Chris. You, can't, you can answer it. Husky got me on the handcuffs. I can't say it. Even though there were, even though there were a ton of customers around, Rena forced me to tag along, and I have to wait for the trial and everything. But the point is, if I say it, I'm gonna get fined. Damn straight you are. <laughs> Husky Harji, he said, damn straight you are. See? There were bras and panties as far as the eye could see. Husky, Mella would see that if Wayna, if not Wayna, if uh, Ellie did that. There we go. Well, Ellie's special. Like Yuki? Not that special. <laughs> Every time you say special, I had to make it an example. This is too much. It's hard for me to, to be a for me to be here. Mm. But it's going to take another five hours or so. That's why I do not go oh. fucking clothes shopping with my mother to any store. Yeah. Like, why don't you ever want to go to the Burlington Coat Factory? I'm like, because you take three hours and I take like ten minutes. Same. Yeah. It takes me 10 minutes as well. Let's see. I walk in, walk to the men's section, and look at what they got in my size. If I don't say anything, I leave. Same. Yeah. My mother, though, oh, I gotta look something for myself. Oh, I gotta look something for your father. Oh, I see there's anything for you. It's like, I looked already. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for your hard work for carrying the bags. I'm going home. Screw you guys, I'm going home. Screw you guys, I'm going home. But wait, 
But wait, Carmen, you can't leave. No, no, no. You nah, I'm nah. Respect my authority. Respect uh. my authority. I can, I can barely carry them all by myself, but I did it already. Kidding? Really? It obviously won't take me five hours. Really? Husky's like ten hours. It only take me seven. Yeah, it takes me seven hours instead. I'm okay now. Why don't we go somewhere else? Love the English. You don't know anything about anything anymore. You don't know what you're talking about when you talk to me. Why won't you just shut up and keep your opinion to yourself? No one wants to hear that it's true. Why don't you go kill yourself? La, 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 la.